So I won the APA US Amateur Championship back in 2009, and it was after many so-called failed attempts. So at the moment that I won, I was elated, surprised, shocked, relieved, all of those things that have been kind of building up over the years prior, because prior to that in 2006, seven and eight, I had gotten third, second, and then third at nationals. So finally, 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 I had won and it had been just uh, exhilarating for lack of a better word. I was just so excited that all the hard work I had put in for over the years in such a prestigious event um, finally paid off and I won against a worthy adversary, um, Mary Rakin, who now is Mary Tam and is still a killer on the pool table. So uh, the following year, I, I got my master's degree and then I uh, had a second daughter. Since then, I've just been, I've been working as a CFO for a nonprofit. I've been working there for almost 15 years. So last year I was nominated by the Atlanta Business Chronicle as uh, one of the CFOs of the year for the nonprofit and governmental um, category. And I won last year. That was a kind of a huge highlight in my career, uh, professional career. Competition wise, I'm still playing tournaments every weekend that I can, uh, regionally, locally, um, within the state. So a lot of the pool halls are still functioning um, as much as they can, and they're still having tournaments. So as long as I can get out there and put my cue together and play in a tournament, I'm trying to do it. This tournament happens every year. What you do is you go into it with a smaller goal, right? To win a match, to win two matches. If last year you won a match or went to and out, try to try to set those smaller goals, right? So that each and every year, while you're practicing throughout the year and getting prepared for this event, you're you're going to work towards something smaller. And then before you know it, you're going to start getting into the top top three, the finals. You'll and eventually you'll make it to nationals, and then you'll have to set a whole nother set of goals, right? So pool is a it's a marathon, right? Not, it's not a quick race. So I think that once you start setting those smaller goals and reaching them, it's going to build confidence. You're going to want to practice more. You're going to want to get better. And then you're going to be able to see those um, achievements whenever you particularly play in this event.